a Category 2 moving through the Bahamas. It hugs the coast Friday into Saturday. But look at what happens as we head into early next week. The worst case scenario right now moving right into millions upon millions of people. And this could cause extensive catastrophic damage. I'm not just standing here making this stuff up. I want people to really pay attention to this because again, this could be worst case scenario. At any rate, we're dealing with high seas, rip currents, beach erosion, coastal flooding, certainly storm surge as this storm moves on shore. The exact point or location where it's going to move on shore, still not known yet, and the exact strength still not known yet. But we are going to see torrential rain and flooding inland. High winds, 60, 80 miles per hour, significant power outages that could last for weeks for millions of people and down trees. John, we've still got foliage on the trees and winds in excess of 60, 70, 80 miles per hour is going to cause extensive, extensive damage. I just want to show you one of our uh, reliable forecast models. It is really becoming apparent that we are going to be dealing with a system that is going to come on shore again anywhere from the mid-atlantic towards maine need to be paying attention but john i my our mouths dropped at the latest tracking that shows this system going right into new york city uh, obviously you know we've got days ahead to really hone in and get this forecast right but people need to be paying attention we do think that this storm is going to come on shore and it's going to cause a lot of damage and it's a big Saturday, October the 27th, we're taking another look at Hurricane Sandy Ghost Satellite Loop. And here's the close-up. These loops are all from about 6 o'clock this morning. Some interesting things going on in these loops that uh, I want to point out. Persistent jet aerosol lined up northeast to southwest, completely out of context and not aligned with any of the other features in this loop. Next we see retrograde aerosol deployment over the storm on the north side. Everything is moving from west to east except this aerosol deployment that is moving east to west. And here is this morning's IntelliCast. Here is the wide view. And look at this section right here. This is another retrograde filling of aerosols from east to west. Keep your eye on this. You'll also see some persistent jet aerosols in the field. Right to left. There's little doubt that this storm is being intensely geoengineered. The consequences of what's happening right now will be felt at landfall on the other end. This is basis for a class action suit loss of life and property. If enough people in these states and the affected areas become aware that this storm has been manufactured, if you or someone you know may be interested in looking into options for class action suit, legal litigation, click the link in the comments section and visit our site on Facebook. Storm surges all over. One meteorologist says Sandy could potentially affect more than 66 million Americans. From Florida up through Virginia Beach into New York, Boston, and Maine, the governors of Virginia, Maryland, New York, and Pennsylvania have already declared states of emergency, along with the mayor of D.C. And power companies up and down the eastern seaboard are preparing for the possibility of widespread destruction including a look at the paths this storm is expected to take. I would like to show you why this Frankenstorm may be changing its trajectory. This is a three-hour IntelliCast loop ending at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, October 26, 2012, of Hurricane Sandy. I want to show you chem dumps that are actually showing up on satellite imagery 
in Hurricane Sandy or Frankenstorm. These are not illuminated by the sun. This is the middle of the night. These are chem dumps that are being dumped in this storm. As you can see, there is also a persistent stationary chemtrail. On this three-day loop of Sandy, ending yesterday, we notice that she is hit on the southwest portion next to the eye with aerosol dumps, chem dumps. Can you see? There it is, the chem dump. One more time as she emerges. She's hit with a chem dump to get her going again. You'll notice she begins to die down, and when she does, another aerosol dump. Now I'm going to show you Hurricane Sandy, fast and furious. Do you see the coastline of North Carolina, South Carolina, all the chemtrails that are fast and furiously put there on the edge of Hurricane Sandy. Now come up here, look at all of this infrasonic undulation. You've got it going on up here, up here, you've got it going up down here in North Carolina. All of the infrasonic undulation going on. And what does infrasonic undulation do? It pushes the storm. Look at the direction of the infrasonic undulation. It is pushing that storm east northeast and causing a greater velocity in that storm. Let's investigate the rest of the storm. You can see in the storm, you can see in the storm the chemtrail. You can see it quite obviously. Now look at this more sonic undulation. This sonic undulation is going around with the storm and more chemtrail over here. Sonic undulation going on with the storm. Can you see the sonic undulation? Aggravating the storm. Can you see it? I've enlarged this photo so that you should be able to see it. I don't know if you can but there is sonic undulation, infrasonic undulation going on all around and all about this storm. Curving the storm around, tossing it around, and steering it where someone wants it to go. This was Wednesday's track. This is today's track. Very different wouldn't you say? Hurricane Sandy. Look at the top of this. You can also see some TTA manipulation right here. On again, off again, showing up on radar. This is in order to cause more aggravation to steer it and to cause it to become more violent. Let's look at Venezuela. What is this? This is diabolical. They're even hitting Venezuela with infrasound. And look at all these right angle boxes. That is indication of infrasound coming down on the square receptors. On again, off again. This is TTA manipulation. Tesla tech array manipulation otherwise known as HARP. Let's go down here. This is Tesla Tech Array infrasound. And the reason it's being used is to create a new system around Santa Domingo, San Juan area and force that system with this system so as to make it look natural 
to steer it in the direction they want to steer it in. Let's look at the larger system over the United States. There's all kinds of weirdness going on. But look at this right here. What is this over here? Is it snowing over there? But look at this. A dancing globule. And on again, off again, this is TTA caught in action. There's some more TTA up here caught in action. You see south of Texas this line right here? This is manufactured and one of the ways you can tell that it's manufactured is you've got two spikes going to it. One of them is intermittent and the other one is stationary and pulsating. Take a look at this. A spike in Nashville, Tennessee. What is it doing? It's creating volatility to come against the storm that's coming inland toward the land to buffet that storm and make it more volatile. You see? This is a satellite view enlarged so that you can see some things for Hurricane Sandy right now. Let's come down here and look at some things. Right here should be very obvious to you two chemtrails very visible on satellite imagery. Very visible. Do you see how long they go? They go all the way down to here. Then you'll notice more chemtrails staying in the flow, totally against the flow. More chemtrails and more chemtrails. Now watch what happens when we go over here. Infrasound waves. Chemtrails that are caught in infrasound sonic undulation. Do you see it? Do you see the infrasound sonic undulation in the patterns in chemtrail in the flowing of this hurricane. More chemtrails, more chemtrails, or Frankenstorm, sonic undulation. More and more, more and more sonic undulation as you look at it. It's not the, the clear waving, the clear wave that you see here of the hurricane. You see the actual lines of sonic undulation. TTA, Tesla Tech Array, Harp Type Array, HTA, sonic undulation. Right here, caught on satellite imagery. Amidst the chemtrail. Or Frankenstorm. I would like to remind you Frankenstein was created too.